Yes, guys, how is it going? Good morning and welcome back to the adventure. Obviously, there is no Premier League games this week, so we've got lots of different fixtures to get our tails stuck into. And today, we are off to the race course. We're off to Wrexham. Uh, Wrexham, uh, it's not Wrexham Town. I was made sure of that in the last video in the comments. I think it's Wrexham AFC. Uh, so we're off there for today's game. And uh, yeah, Wrexham, obviously, in Wales. This is a good start. <laughs> I think I need a change before we get going. Let's go and do that now. Boom, that's a little bit better. I've got my work pants on as well, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be looking posh today. Right, let's get to the race course for Wrexham against Maidenhead. Well, we've made it in and it's so cold in this stand and it's windy. We're in the corner, we've got a good view. It's a pretty cool stadium and uh, obviously they're redeveloping the stand uh, to my right. It's Wrexham against Maidenhead for today's game. It's freezing. Time for kick off. Also, I'm going to apologise in advance for the wind. I'm giving you a wind notice. It is very windy here, so if there's any wind on the footage, I do apologise. Wrexham lost to Maidenhead in the reverse fixture away at Maidenhead, but they did win on Tuesday night in their first game back at the race course. Uh, the race course since the lockdown restrictions in Wales, so it's going to be a close game. It's Wrexham versus Maidenhead. Let's do it. Here we go. It's a red card already. Wrexham are down to 10 after three minutes. Talk about drama already. He's trying, to, he's trying to protest. He's been sent off. Well, interesting start to this one. I didn't actually see the challenge, but I think it was a high four. And uh, the referee's been talking over with it with his line for a while has sent the Wrexham man off. Three and a half minutes gone, it's 10 versus 11. Or well, we can hear the 30 Maidenhead fans, so there are only 30 of them that shown up. Uh, shout off, off, off. And he has gone, it's 10 against 11. Wrexham, red card already, not the start. Good ball.
Okay, 10 minutes till half time. Right, so we've got a throw in here. We scored off one of them. Let's see what they can do here. We're nine. Here's up. Oh, traveling. Corner ball. I'll tell you what, one of the Maidenhead players called Smile is getting a lot of abuse on this side. He caused a tactical foul where I think the Wrexham right back went past him, clearly went past him and just completely fouled him over. Proper tactical foul, reckless challenge as Gary Neville would say. Yellow card and he's been getting stick ever since. The Wrexham fans are not smiling. Oh! Okay, so half time at the race course. Oh my god, it is freezing in the stands, but it is 1 0 to Wrexham. 10 man Wrexham. Paul Mullen gets sent off after five minutes for a high foot challenge. It's a bit of an interesting one. I thought, I did see it, but I didn't see all of it. I thought it was a yellow card at most, but the referee obviously uh, discussed it with his linesman for a very, very long time. It took a couple of minutes for them to come up with a final decision. He had a yellow card in his hand the whole time. I think it was a linesman that advised uh, the referee to send Paul Mullen off, and it's a difficult. It was a difficult call, uh, but they decided to send him off. And uh, Wrexham were down to 10 after five minutes. And then obviously they got that goal. Uh, Hayden heading in from a throw in to get a huge, huge goal for Wrexham. 10 man Wrexham. <laughs> that, that's the main story, isn't it? The, the red card after five minutes. Obviously, Wrexham taking the lead. Um, just before half time, though, Maidenhead had their best chance of the game. Uh, I don't know names. I do apologise if there is any Maidenhead uh, fans watching. Uh, it's a number that I remember. Number 22 uh, peeled off. Uh, made a really good run towards the back post. It looked like it was going to smash it in to equalise, uh, but it was a brilliant, brilliant block uh, from Wrexham. And I'll tell you what, um, Maidenhead player, Sm uh, I think it's Smile. I mean, it's not Smiley, it's Smile. He is getting a hell of a lot of stick uh, from this stand especially. Every time he gets on the ball, he committed a tactical foul about a couple of minutes after the red card had happened uh, when one of the Wrexham players was definitely going past him and Smile went out of his way to make sure that he fouled the Wrexham man uh, to give away a free kick on a booking for it as well. Uh, so it's been an interesting half. I don't think it was a red card, but obviously I've not seen it. I didn't have a good... A good view as the official did, uh, but it is 1-0 to Wrexham at half time, winning with a man down. Can they hold on to get a big, big win here at the race course? There we go, second half. Good start. <laughs> brilliant challenge. Fully got the ball and he's going to get boxed. Very interesting. He's getting boxed for that. I thought that was a great tackle. It's a good ball. Oh. Mascot thought it was close. It's a good ball. Oh! It's on target. Oh, what a cross! Oh. Got that. Oh, so 
someone down. Second half been a bit interesting. It was a good opening 10 minutes. Wrexham obviously had a chance. Even Maidenhead pulled a shot across goal that probably should have gone in. Um, Wrexham had a bit of a big opportunity uh, about halfway through the second half, but it's blown over. Free kick here. Big chance. someone in the box in the 90th minute to just calm his header and pick his spot it's criminal like the amount of space that he had in the box just to control his header and put it anywhere in the net and they've equalized they've been going for it the last five minutes and they've got that goal can rex and win it Okay, full time at the race course. You just can't give somebody that amount of time in the box to pick out his spot with a header uh, when you're trying to hold on to a 1-0 win. And Rex and the ultimate lead. Punished for not getting that second goal. Oli Palmer missed the sitter at the back post. They've had chance after chance uh, in the second half to get this game wrapped up and they couldn't do it. Ultimately, I know there's frustration to the referee with that red card to Mullen in the first five minutes. And a lot of the decisions have been going to Maidenhead's way, even from a neutral. Uh, I would be very, very disappointed as a Wrexham fan with the referee's performance. But you can't just blame the referee, hence the booze in the stand. You can't just blame the referee. Wrexham should have got that second goal and should have had this win easily. Instead, they're now in the thick of it to try and get promotion uh, into League Two from the National League. Disappointing result for Wrexham. Brilliant if you're a Maidenhead fan. There was only 30 of them going mad. If that was in the Premier League, it would have been limbs in the away end. But yeah, disappointing result if you're a Wrexham fan tonight. And that is going to bring an end to my vlog here at the race course. It was pretty cool coming here for the first ever time. And there was also, if you didn't know, a pub attached to the ground. So I'll probably go in for that. I had to have a coat because I'm driving back. Uh, so drink responsibly for me today. Uh, but yeah, disappointing result for Wrexham. But if you have enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash like, subscribe down below. And also check out my TikTok, who are actually Wrexham kit sponsors, uh, uh, fittingly so. Uh, check out my TikTok. I'm posting on there every day at tiktok.com slash jsmhd44. Or type in jsmhd44 on the discovery bit of the app. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another adventure. Peace out.